Welcome to Mojo Plays. Today we'll be looking at the 10 sexiest Final Fantasy characters. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the male and female characters from the Final Fantasy franchise with the most sex appeal. There will be spoilers ahead. Did we leave any out? Let us know in the comments. Squall Leonhardt, Final Fantasy VIII. I'll send you packing in no time. If the old adage is true, and clothes really do make the man, then we just gotta give it up for that fur-lined jacket worn by Squall Leonhardt in Final Fantasy VIII. Beyond this, however, there's just something heroic and handsome about Squall that makes him really appealing as a character. He's an embodiment of classic masculinity with more than a fair amount of reserved seriousness that makes him emotionally engaging. The Final Fantasy franchise has seen more than its fair share of male heroes over the years, but Squall remains one of the most memorable. Lightning, Final Fantasy XIII. <laughs> The world of Final Fantasy already had a wealth of established lore and characters by the time the 13th installment dropped in 2009. This didn't mean the fans didn't have room for one more warrior woman to crush on, of course. Enter Lightning, aka Claire Farron, who served as the main protagonist for Final Fantasy 13. She's a strong swordswoman with legs for days, but don't get on her bad side or else she'll cut you to ribbons. Lightning may come across as cold and disconnected at first, but time has seen the character warm up to friends and family, while her sex appeal has remained a constant from her very first appearance on through sequels like Final Fantasy XIII 2 and Lightning Returns Final Fantasy XIII. Sephiroth, Final Fantasy VII. They say that everybody likes a bad boy, and if that's true, then Sephiroth is the baddest of them all. This antagonist from the fan favorite Final Fantasy VII not only has understandable motives for his madness, but a brooding sex appeal that makes him kinda irresistible. Oh, we know he's bad for us, but we just can't keep away when he flips that incredible hair or pushes us to the limit during a boss fight. Sephiroth is a legendary warrior with impeccable fashion sense who's fallen from grace. But that's not half as far as we've fallen for him. Ash, Final Fantasy XII. Yeah. Ah, right. Okay, so we admit that Ashlea Dalmasca's outfit for battle isn't exactly designed with defense in mind, but we're not complaining. The Princess of Dalmasca, also known simply as Ash, likes to wear miniskirts, and she certainly got the legs for it. But her beauty is also much more than skin deep. We follow Ash's story closely in Final Fantasy XII, and we grow to love her not only for her obvious sex appeal, but for the bravery, loyalty, and strength that beats within her heart. Let's face it, Ash is just the total package and anyone from the Final Fantasy universe would be lucky to spend any time with her whatsoever. Cloud Strife, Final Fantasy VII. It's over! That's my line. In the world of Final Fantasy, having good hair is half the battle. Cloud Strife knows this all too well, for he has one of the best and most iconic quaffs in the game. Cloud's sex appeal doesn't stop at his head, however, as he also possesses youthful good looks and a body born for battle. And not to be gross, but that's a mighty big sword he's swinging. Just saying. All joking aside, there's a reason why so many fans love Final Fantasy VII. So much so that it was even remade in 2020. Cloud is an interesting protagonist with an emotional journey that resonates with us and makes him intriguing long after looks fade. Cindy Orem. Final Fantasy 15. Y'all ain't never been out this way before, have you? Go on, have a look around. This'll make sure y'all don't get lost. 
We've made it a point to mention how balanced so many of the Final Fantasy characters are when it comes to their physical appeal and their multifaceted personalities. And this is certainly also true for our next pick, Cindy Orem from Final Fantasy XV. This granddaughter of Sid Sofiar is a talented mechanic, but we can barely concentrate on anything when she shows up, because Cindy's sex appeal is just off the charts. Aura might just be the Final Fantasy franchise's biggest bombshell, but she's also sweet, kind, and dedicated to work, family, and friends. We call that the total package. Now I get it. This must be what Papa meant when he said he was going to teach them boys a lesson. Ball Fear, Final Fantasy XII. There's just no way around it. Ball Fear is a scoundrel but what a dashing, charming, and handsome scoundrel he is. This Sky Pirate is always dressed to the nines and possesses a glib tongue that can probably seduce just about anyone should he put his mind to the task. He rocks old school 1970s sideburns and comes across like Final Fantasy's own Captain Jack Sparrow, but he's also a loyal friend to those who gain his trust. This can be seen in his relationship with the equally sexy Fran, his Vieira companion who gives Balthier a run for his money when it comes to killer clothes that show off all the goods. You're Sky Pirates? So you have an airship? It's Balthier. Aerith Gainsborough, Final Fantasy VII. Wow. <sighs> Your eyes. There are two types of people in this world. Those who cried when Aerith Gainsborough died in Final Fantasy VII, and those who are lying. Her shocking demise is among the most memorably tragic scenes in video game history, so it goes without saying that she's earned a special place in the hearts of Final Fantasy fans around the world. Aerith is just as beautiful inside and out, possessing a sweet and gentle nature that makes her already gorgeous face and figure all the more appealing. If Cindy Orem is the Final Fantasy bombshell, then maybe it's fair to consider Aerith as the series' girl next door, the one over whom we all swoon every single time. <laughs> Thanks anyway. Noctis Lucius Calum, Final Fantasy XV. Yeah. There's a level of androgyny that's really appealing about Noctis Lucius Calum from Final Fantasy XV. He's not a physically intimidating slice of beefcake, nor a slim and brooding anti-hero, but instead a relatively approachable character with a boyish charm. His spiky hair is definitely cool, while his clothing style is quite often basic black, but he definitely rocks it, no question about it. We'd definitely be crushing on Noctis in real life, but it might take a while before we mustered up the courage to make our feelings known. Either way, this Final Fantasy protagonist definitely sets the heart aflutter. We had no way of knowing. What? Knowing what? That the signing was last night. Before we name our last pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Barrett, Final Fantasy VII. For those who like them big. Wouldn't be the first time I spit in Destiny's eye. Lulu, Final Fantasy X. Dark, mysterious, and sexy. I shouldn't have to say this, but don't fall in love with her. Kane Highwind, Final Fantasy IV. A brooding bad boy with a big spear. It was an honor to fight alongside you. Tifa Lockhart, Final Fantasy VII. I feel trapped. Final Fantasy heroes and heroines may come and go, but we are always here for Tifa Lockhart. Our number one pick predictably arrives once again from Final Fantasy VII, and packs a punch, literally, as a two-fisted dynamo with a body built for sin. Tifa's outfits tend to show off her toned physique, while at the same time showcasing that she's proud of all the hard work put into her martial arts training. Short skirts and belly shirts are usually the name of the game, but make no mistake, Tifa would definitely kick our ass if we got out of line. She's also sweet and empathetic, the kind of girl we'd love to take home to meet our parents. Simply stated, Tifa is the best. What do you think would suit me, huh? Do you agree with our picks? Don't forget to stick around and check out our other videos on Mojo Plays. 